the BBC television and radio presenter was an award-winning favourite among her colleagues and fans. Tributes have been pouring in following the announcement of her death on Thursday morning. She died at the Christie Hospital in Manchester following a short illness, her family confirmed. Diane became well known after working alongside Simon Mayo and Steve Wright on Radio 1, before becoming the North West's weather presenter in 1994. She was famously adored by comedian Peter Kay, who once crawled up to her on live TV and he ooped her, before declaring, God love Diane Oxbury. You made it sunshine for everyone. Her husband Ian Heindel confirmed the news to the BBC, telling them, Diane was an amazing wife and mother who embraced life to the full. She was an inspiration to all who knew and loved her but also to the people who watched and welcomed her into their homes each night as if she were part of their family too. She will leave a massive void in our lives but because of the remarkable person she was she will forever live on in our hearts. The children and I will miss her more than anyone can imagine. The pair have two children together after raising their family in Manchester following a move from London in 1993. It was only recently that she took part in a 100-mile relay walk for children in need with her colleagues Annabelle Tiffin and Roger Johnson. Coronation Street actress Jenny McAlpine was one of many to share a tweet, as she wrote, So sorry to hear this. All love to Diane's family. Both of her colleagues have since spoken out about her death, with Annabelle saying, This is an enormous shock for all of us. I can scarcely believe Diane has died. She was loved by our viewers, by all of us at Northwest tonight. My heart breaks for her family. Roger also said, we are heartbroken by Diane's death. It's almost impossible to comprehend. Diane was Northwest tonight. It's hard to imagine the program without her. Those who worked with her have been sending tributes on Twitter, while her friends are also adding to the tweets.